Just a phenomenal platter. They, they're lighter than all the other competitions. So you take 15 pounds per battery times four, because I love four of them in my boat. That's a lot of weight I'm taking out of my boat. Um, I've got a sign-up sheet right over here. I'm giving a battery away today. Um, at 4 o'clock, I'm going to draw out of that box right there. And then at the end of the year, I'm giving away an all-expense paid fishing trip with me. I'm going to fly you in. We're going to pick a lake that's, that's on fire that uh, me and you can both go fish, and, and we'll work, work around your schedule and my schedule. So be sure you sign up over there. And uh, I, I want to tell you a little bit about these alpha batteries, why they're so much better. These batteries is, the, is a new spiral cell technology. They've got this the, the, the role of spiral cell technology, and what that means is they're very, very vibration resistant. You know, in a bass boat, when we're running 70 miles down, 70 miles an hour across a lake, you're beating the snot out of your batteries. And the more vibration resistant your battery is, the longer it's going to last. The old wet style batteries, they break down over time. My optimal batteries that I've got in an aluminum boat, I've had, it, I've had them in my Bass Tracker 14 185 since 2004. And uh, that boat sits a lot, but I mean, I, I used that same boat with the Classic at, Red, at the Red River the year before last, and those batteries made it all day long. It's just a, they're awesome, awesome batteries that will last you a long time. Um, you can at least expect two to three more times use out of them over a conventional battery. Uh, they may cost you a little bit more, but over a long period of time, you're getting a whole lot better battery. Plus, it weighs a lot less. You're not, you know, anytime you take weight out of your boat, it's going to flow higher. You get into shallower areas. Uh, your boat's going to go faster. Um, you can mount these batteries upside down, sideways. You know, I had a tournament at Lake Erie, and I was running in 10 foot waves. I actually broke the motor off my boat. It's sitting there hanging sideways, and my batteries, I never even thought about my batteries, but I had a battery actually turned sideways in there. And it, I fished out of that boat the rest of the day, and it was fine. I mean, it just it doesn't hurt that battery at all. We turn sideways. The batteries will actually operate completely submerged in water. And a lot of the optimal promotions I do, we've got an aquarium with a, a trolling motor and a bilge pump hooked up to this battery that's down inside the aquarium. So, you know, for safety reason, you know, if you're ever out there in your boat, you take a big wave over and or, or you forget to plug in your boat or something and your water fills up in your boat and uh, there's water over the top of your battery, hey, it's kind of comforting to know, hey, I can still start that engine, I can still turn that bilge pump on. There's a lot of, a lot of good reasons there for that. Uh, but be sure to sign up down there. I'm going to be here till 4 o'clock or till whenever you guys leave and uh, be happy to answer any questions that you have. You might win that optimal battery or uh, win that fishing trip with me at the end of the year. But, uh, one of the things I was going to also get up here and talk about was, uh, if you, you know, right now, across the country, the fish are fixing to go to spawn. When we say fixing down south, I guess up here you probably say getting ready to. Uh, but the, the, the bass, when I say